So let's finalize working on our color here in this particular episode. So what I'll do, I'll go to files, then components, products, and I'll create a new file. And for this file, I'll say that it's set color.tsx, status functional component, then set color. And right here, we can be able to return just a div. This will be a client component and we can define that it's a client component by saying use client at the top here, use client. This component will receive several props. So here we will set the interface for this one. So let's say interface and we say set uh, color props. And the first one is that we'll receive all the images for this particular product. And the type for this one can be our selected image type, which we get from product details. And here we say that this now will be an array. Okay. And then right here, we will be having our cut product. And this will be having our cut product type. So cut product type uh, which you also get from our product details we will be passing a function called handle color select from our product details uh, value here and this value will be of type selected image type and it will return void so it will not return anything so awesome so this we set it to this one so full colon here and we say that this is a react functional component we use angle brackets here and we pass our set color props so we can receive all this right here so i destructure them from props images cut products cut product that is its one product then handle, okay, this is supposed to be handle. So we add LE there. And this one is now handle color select. Let's hook this component in our product details, right where we had our color here. So here, I'll just say set color, this one. It expects us to pass the various props. So here, let's pass our cut product which will be equal to our cut product. We also pass our images. So images, which will be equal to our product dot images. And finally, we also pass a function, which we will call handle color select. And here we will call this function handle uh, color select but we haven't created this function yet so let's go ahead and create it i'll copy that and we come at the top just before our return here we can define that function so i'll say const i paste we can use uh, i use callback hook for optimization so instead of defining it directly like this i can just say use callback and then I invoke this one. This will expect us to pass an arrow function in here and also to pass a dependency array. So I include a dependency array. Right here, we will be receiving a value and this value will be of type, the selected image type. Awesome. And right here, the dependency for this will depend on the uh, cut product selected image. So cut product dot selected IMG. So we'll come back to this to fill the body here. So for now, let's go back to our set color here. And we are now passing all these plops right here. And we can start by styling it. So we'll have this and then we'll have this for changing the colors. And they also switch the image as you can see. We need to create a wrapper for this. 
So this will be span, this will be in a div. So let's do that. So here I'll add another div. And here we will have a span that will say that this is the color. So we can use caps color full colon and then down here we will have a div that will have these different colors okay so for now let's add styles for this one first so i'll add a class name and we will display flex we will have a gap between them so gap of four and then we will have items at the center so items center and now for this color let's include also some styles so i'll add a class name and we just need to make it bold so font semi bold will do and if i save we should be able to see something here there we go we have color already awesome so we move on to this one so for this one we will display all the different colors that are available for our image so we need to map through them okay so here I include the curly brackets and we will use our images dot map uh, we invoke this one and we will have an image at a time so image and we can use that to display more about it so here we will return a div okay I can include brackets and just say return like that and now for this div we will only be having mainly styles okay so this the first one here will be the ring one that is the green one there and then we'll have another div inside it that will show the color so here we'll have two divs but they won't have any content just the styles okay so i save to auto format everything and now for this wrapper div we can add some class names okay so for this one uh, because we will be using some javascript in here let's make sure that we are using the backticks and for the backticks let's also wrap it with uh, these curly brackets and now we can add the styles right here so first of all the height will be seven the width will be seven so that it's square then it will be rounded so i'll say rounded to be full and then we will have border to be hyphen teal uh, hyphen 300 awesome so that is the green border we'll display flex and we'll make sure that our div that is inside this wrapper it's at the center so items will be center and then justify hyphen center we will use some javascript so i'll use the money sign and these curly brackets and we will dynamically display this border for the selected image okay so we will know the selected image by checking at the state so this state here we have this selected image i'll say cut uh, product dot selected image and then dot color if that color is equal to our image dot color so we are comparing our cut product that is in state uh, we compare the selected image color with the color of this image that we are mapping through remember here we'll have multiple so we'll go through each of them then we'll compare with the selected one if they are equal then we will show this ring if they are not then we will not show it okay so after this we use a question mark and this means if the icon will now show the border and we will just include its value here its width and i'll say px else we will not show it so we'll say border to be none so if i save and we come back here you see we see the this ring already so setting the style by tailwind css um it was messing up everything so here i'll just use the inline style for the css directory so i'll use the style property and i'll set the background for this one so back ground full colon to be image 
then dot color code remember we have color and we have color code so i set color code okay so that will be the background but also we can add a class name here and for this class name this will help us to set the the height the width and so on so here let's go on and say height now will be smaller than this one this was seven this one will be five and then the width here will be five and then uh, rounded also will be full and uh, here the border for this one we can set it to be 1.2 px so 1.2 px and here we will set the border color so border color to be straight then hyphen uh, 300 this is not supposed to be full stop but a hyphen awesome and finally let the cursor be pointer let's save and see what we have look we have all this we have set the background color using this style and then the styles for the height and the width so let me tab here and save at this div before we map everything at this div we need to add a class name and we will just display flex and we'll add a gap of one red save and there we go they organized nicely awesome we need to come to this div here after we map the first div and we need to add more stuff here the first one is the key and we'll set the key to be our image dot color and then here we will also have an on click event and this on click event we call our handle uh, color select okay so here we will call our handle color select and we pass the current image that we we are at so whenever we click this we will pass this image so remember this image has both the image and the color so don't get confused they are almost the same thing maybe you can name it image color or you can just choose one so in this case i chose image so what will happen is that we'll receive this image uh, let me save first we will receive this image that is selected to our handle color select here as the value okay which is the selected image type and then now we can use this value to update our uh, cut product state so we update this one here okay so let's do that here we will simply call set cut product we invoke it and here we will have access to the previous uh, selected uh, cut product <laughs> okay and here we can pass an arrow function and we can use this previous to update the state here so here it expects us to return something and whatever we will return is we spread our previous state and then we update our selected image and we'll update that selected image to our value the value that we get from here when we select okay so now i save so these should work fingers crossed and let's see now we select this blue and we are able to change that image so right here we can just come down here and we will say console dot log of our cut product like that and i save so let's expand this one we inspect this and we come to color select let's refresh we have some errors okay they are gone so by default we have this image selected as our cut product as you can see we have the selected images black but when i click on blue now we expand this and we come to selected image look we have blue also the url changes to the blue one we select on red and that will change to red like that awesome so our feature here is working nicely and in the next episode we'll see how we can change the quantity so i'll see you in the next one